How's it going, everybody? Josh here at Dedicated Health, and today we are doing a hiking vlog. Welcome to Turkey Run State Park. So this is actually a park I've been to several times, so I know this place very well. I'm going to give you some, some different views, different kind of uh, attractions they have here. Like, for example, right behind me is something called the Ice Box. This is a really cool natural ravine that is always at a 60 degree temperature, no matter how hot it is, which is rather hot today. It is about 60 degrees, no, sorry, 70, 70 degrees, but 60 degrees down here, it's very nice. Um, so this is an amazing state park. I highly recommend you come check it out. It is, it's definitely in the top five, and I think it was actually rated third best hiking park in Indiana. So if you're in the Indiana area, I definitely recommend checking it out. So I'm gonna give you some looks of what this is like, some ideas of how difficult the trails are. We'll be taking trail three, which is the most popular and one of the most rugged trails there is in Turkey Run. So I will be showing you that as we go. So this is kind of what trail three is known for, going through deep ravines like this, uh, there, it's kind of like a lake bed, so it's pretty wet and marshy, so if you're going to do this, I highly recommend waterproof shoes. But this is one of the best trails you can go on. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm walking through nothing but mud and didn't even need to. Uh, there are plenty of obstacles to overcome, which is one thing Tyler is very excited about. Um, there's ladders and various things like that, so if you are going to bring a dog with you, make sure they're a dog you can carry up a ladder, because there are plenty of those. Here is the pre-mentioned ladders. They uh, are not too treacherous or anything like that, but there is not a way around them really. That's easy. I have taken my dogs up around that way. It's not the easiest or safest thing, but these are an obstacle you will run into and they're rather fun. I am a huge fan of obstacles and trails. Here is the riverbed from behind, but it is gorgeous and I absolutely love this part of the park. So in the last footage I just showed you, uh, there was two ladders you can't get around, but this ladder you can if you go up and around that way. Uh, so there is a way around that ladder, but that's about it. And then if you're coming the opposite way we're coming, you can go down that way and it'll bring you back around to the ravine. So that's a way to get around the ladders depending on what direction you go. So as you can see, this is a very beautiful park. So many deep ravines, so many different obstacles and views to see, and so many different ways to do each cliff, like for example, up and around there, instead of just going straight. So many different things you can do. So I'm gonna definitely rank this pretty high on trails and enjoyment. Difficulty, I would say difficulty is probably a six-ish. It's not really overwhelmingly difficult and the challenges are, the obstacles are so entertaining that you really don't pay attention to how hard or how tired you are, which is great. Um, but they are definitely there and you are getting a great workout. And enjoyment, probably, I'd give it a solid eight. This is one of the funnest parks I've been to, and I've been to it multiple times, so I can basically do it in my sleep. I have explored almost every inch of each trail they have to offer. Three is always gonna be the best, and I highly recommend checking it out. So, trails, definitely ranking high. We caught another friend. What will this one's name be? Steve. Steve? Larry. This is Steve. Yeah. Uh, Steve or Larry? Steve the snake. Steve, it's Steve. He's a cute guy. Steve is our friend now. They always calm down so fast. They're like, oh, I'm gonna die now. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't care. Steve now has a friend. His name is Larry. We got a Larry. Yeah, now we got a Larry. Steve and Larry. They're getting along well. What do you say Steve was? This is a rat snake. This rat is snake. a garter snake. Larry is the rat. This is garter. You can't see it, but we have released them to the wild, just so everyone knows. We did not keep any of the snakes in this journey. So one thing about Turkey Run Trails is you will notice there are a lot of stairs. This is pretty much a standard for this park. Every trail is littered with stairs upon stairs, but honestly, it doesn't really take away from the uh, experience very well. There are like side paths you can take to avoid the stairs, 
So if you don't like dealing with man-made obstacles, you can't get around them, which is why I do not include that in the difficulty because they are avoidable and uh, they don't really take away from the experience. So next up in the review is gonna have to be scenery. And as you can see from behind me, that kind of speaks for itself. Turkey Run is absolutely gorgeous and it has amazing views that you can find from just about any elevation, not to mention these amazing ravines that you can find. So I would definitely rank this at a high nine because it is absolutely gorgeous. One of the cool attractions of Turkey Run is the Punch Bowl, which is this natural ravine that is very cool and basically a waterfall. This will actually fall year round, make this little little uh, pond over here. And it's a really nice and scenic place to go. I highly recommend checking out if you go down Trail 3. So another cool thing to see here is this old coal mine. It's actually a protective bat habitat right now, so you can't really go in it, but it's still a nice little scenic route. And there's some informational panels over there that you can learn more about it. It's pretty cool. But this is also a good opportunity for me to talk to you guys about the final and probably one of the most important things to people. Uh, it's the activities. So. As far as activity goes, Cherokee Run has all your typical things that uh, state parks have, like uh, camping and hiking and backpacking and all that fun stuff. Oh, not backpacking. I lied. They do not have a backpacking trail, uh, but they do have camping both for RVs and tents. Um, they are primi primitive. Uh, they also have cabins and a lodge. Uh, they do have a aquatic center, so you can go swimming there. Um, and you can also rent kayaks and tubes along with uh, renting horses. However, that's about as far as that goes. So apart from hiking, this isn't the best place to go if you're looking for a lot of activities for a full family to do. So we're gonna say probably a five for activities, but the scenery and trails are so nice that I, I think it outweighs it. I still think this is one of the best parks you can possibly go to because it is gorgeous and so fun. Um, I highly really recommend it. And they have trails for every activity level. So I don't, don't like the activity um, or events or lack of hold you back because there's still plenty to do as long as you're willing to walk. And my camera died while I was on the trail. So that was rough. And by camera, I mean my phone. There's no signal at Turkey Run, so your phone's going to blow through battery faster than you can say, oh God, my phone's dying. But that's okay, because sometimes that's just what you want. You want to get away, you want to experience nature, and you don't want to be bothered by technology and all of its burdens that sometimes come with it. So that is one reason I actually love Turkey Run. Now, I do want to say, I know I ended it on saying that uh, Turkey Run doesn't have a lot to do, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't go there. It's absolutely beautiful. One of the best parks I've ever been to. So if you live close to the area, or if you want to take a little bit of a drive and camp out, I highly recommend it. I cannot recommend Turkey Run enough. It is one of the best parks I've ever been to. I've been to quite a few and that number keeps growing. So it still impresses me every time I go there. I highly recommend you check it out. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button because we we do post a new video every Sunday at noon. This is going to be a ongoing series. I'm trying to get every state park in Indiana and maybe even some of them that are outside of Indiana. So if there's more that you would like to see, comment and let me know. Also let me know what I can do to make these videos better. Thank you guys so much for being part of the dedicated community and until next time, stay dedicated.